but I'm uh, making my way up to Echuca at the moment. I'm going to go on a little bit of an adventure. I'm going to head um, to Cameron's Corner. So, yeah, I'm going to take the scrambler this time for a bit of a solo trip to Cameron's Corner. Just filled up with fuel and um, got some air in the tyres and we're going to keep on cruising. Got about a three hour ride on the, on the highway um, to get to Echuca. I'm in the uh, township of Ye, which is nearly about 100 k's um, out from my place, and I've stopped off at this little um, coffee shop. It's my traditional stop. I stop here every time I come through Ye and get myself a roast chicken roll with gravy. Quick uh, pit stop because I've got to take this are off my helmet because it's just buffering my head like you would not believe so um yeah pit stop visor off should uh, rest the old weary neck a bit i think i go to chuka why not the time ends the begins So I'm going to um, camp here the night. I'm about 60 or 70 k's out of Echuca. Just been riding bush the whole way. Um, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a long slog if I uh, take these fire trails the whole way up to Cameron's Corner. But um, yeah, she's doing well. Lucky the uh, lucky got the new rear tyre on it. She's holding up pretty well, and um, GPS navigation is working well too. So yeah, not a bad setup. Just went for a swim in the river. Um, not that refreshing, it's pretty bloody warm, but it's nice and cool now, nice wet clothes. Right, it's day two, I'm just uh, about to leave my campsite now. Um, bike is all completely packed up, ready to go. Um, and yeah, and I, I lost 1.5 litres of water yesterday, so I've got to quickly go find somewhere I can get some water from. Okay. I've uh, made my way to Denny. Just had a nice, um, a nice iced coffee, and um, got about 200 k's to go to my next uh, next stop. So, see how we go. Just had to uh, make a bit of an emergency stop, or well, actually backtrack 150 k's, because I realised my um, toolkit went missing off the front of my bike. So. I think I lost it out bush somewhere close to Echuca. So I just pulled into Repco and found they had a, um, a $10 tool bin. So I grabbed a heap of tools from there and um, had to fill up with fuel again and make my way back the way I just came. So lesson learned, find a new way to store your tools. So it uh, turns out the road I was gonna take is actually closed. I, um, Continued through anyway, it's the one I planned, so I had a look, and then it actually uh, tees off into some private property. So I thought I better not um, go through the private property, it said no trespassing, so I did a U turn and I'll find another way out back, back this way to um, keep moving. So, bike's going well, she's ticking along. Little uh, Garmin GPS sending my little messages, and um, yeah, I got the Google Maps going as well, just Google Maps can sort of help a little bit better you can see the screen a bit better but Garmin gives you that spot on trail and track which is good so yeah
couldn't help myself. I thought, why not, for a hundred bucks, get myself a little cabin with aircon. <laughs> uh, it's like a sauna in here at the moment. But um, yeah, check it out. Bunk beds. Toilet shower. I'm going to jump in that in a second. No, no another aircon. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, she's a shack. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Coming up in the next episode, I finally get a taste of the real dirt and make my way to Mungal National Park where the old thermometer decided to hit 40 plus degrees. I'm not gonna lie, it was a little bit of a struggle, but one hell of a good time.